Well, here's my top 10 of this year's Expedition Rewards. It would be interesting to know if this is your top 10 as well. Or better still, if you haven't run the No Man's Sky Expeditions. With the Redux on the horizon, it will give you a good idea which ones you want to run. And if you have run them, and one of your favourite drops isn't in my top 10, you can tell me in the comments below. Of course, none of the posters are going to be in my top 10, even though they are great. And there will be a couple of honourable mentions for the Utopia, Singularity and Voyager's expedition. One being the Robo Warden pet that you get from the Utopia expedition. It's a lovely pet to have, but I don't have it in every save. And another being the Construct Head, Chest, Feet and Legs from the Singularity expedition. This one would be way up my list. But as you can get all the parts in the Autophage mission, it means these are not exactly a priority, or indeed time limited. But if you do do the expedition, it means you can get them early in a new save, as the autophage mission is limited to endgame. But for me, number 10 is the Construct Egg. You get this from the Voyager's expedition. I do like the fact that it looks like a robot from Batteries Not Included. And at number 9 is another Expedition 11 Voyager's reward. The skull and digit base parts. I always love my base parts. And coming in at number 8 is the crystallized drone base parts. These ones are from Expedition number 10, Singularity, and they make a lovely fizzy sound when you get near them. And coming in at number 7 is the Wayfarer's Helmet, which you also get from Expedition number 10, the Singularity one. I don't wear it in most of my characters myself, but if I didn't have it, I'd kick myself. And at number 6 is the Ragged Tent. This is from Expedition number 11, Voyagers, and it doesn't seem like much to some straight away, but you'd be surprised how useful this is when you make a little build. And I've seen it being used in some interesting ways already. And number 5 is the Holographic Friends. This is from Expedition number 9, Utopia. And I've used it in a few builds already. And I'd love to see more variations on this one. Like the Kovacs, Vikings and so on. And at number 4 is the Construct Head, the Crimson version. This one is from Expedition number 10, Singularity. It's another one of those helmets that if I didn't have, I'd be kicking myself. And at number 3 is another Construct Head, this one the Atlantid one. This is also from Expedition number 10, Singularity. Of course, it's the Batteries Not Included version, hence it's higher ranking. And at number 2 is the Fearsome Visor. This is from Expedition number 9, Utopia. And of course, if you turn it black, you have that Darth Vader feel. And this one, yep, you can't miss out on this one, no way. Don't use it myself in many of my saves, but when I see people wearing it in different colours than the anomaly, it brings a smile to my face. And at number one is a certain item that I have on quite a few saves, and it's essentially turned into my workhorse, and that is the Utopia Speeder from Expedition number nine, Utopia. Yet there's other ships that I also have in my other saves, and the specs of those other ships are slightly better than this. But like I said, this acts as my workhorse. It feels like the most comfortable to use, and I like to get it out and use it when I'm going out multi-tool and ship hunting. Hence the reason I've got all my staff upgrades at the bottom. And I think it's all down to the fact that it has really good manoeuvrability. So I'll let you enjoy this one a little bit longer. And then at the end of the video, there'll be the full list for all the rewards from all three expeditions. This is all the drops from expedition number 9, Utopia. And these are all the drops from Expedition number 10, Singularity. And of course, these are all the drops from Expedition number 11, Voyagers, the most annoying expedition. Let's hope the Redux version is a lot more pleasant. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.